Okay, if you want to try MIUI 13 on your MIUI 12 device, Redmi Note 9s Pro, Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, and even Redmi Note 10 Pro Lite, if I'm not wrong, that's something which we have included in MIUI 12 devices. If you want to install this thing on your devices, you can. This is the version which I'm using right now, MIUI Mix by MMX Team by Zubair. As always, all credits goes to the developer. MIUI 13.0.4 stable version is what we have. By the way, it's a ported ROM. It's not official version. So yes, if you consider some bugs, etc., don't don't mind if you want to use port rooms you need to be aware of those bugs for sure it's based on android 12 which is not based on android 11 so android 12 kind of things for example material you theming etc is already included if you use some google apps or the apps which which supports material you theming the default UI which I'm using right now is this one. Let me show the default launcher as quickly as possible. If we move on to the settings option more, this is the default launcher where it includes some bit of extra options for you. For example, remove unlock icon animation, icon labels in single line, inf infinite scroll, and some bit of extra things available here and there. So it's kind of a customizable launcher. By the way, I'm using a different custom icon pack here. I don't want to use the default icon pack. So yes, we have chosen to use the another icon pack which is just working perfectly fine let me show the app vault also because that's of course it's included in app Store, etc almost things kind of same the app vault is of course a new one which includes all the new widgets etc so yes the things you were looking for is already present if you want to use these new widgets you can it's up to you um if you are a user who love to use me while you're on your devices then you might find this room useful for you but it's up to you if you don't want to use it it's up to you the default camera section of course as it is MIUI so yes MIUI camera is expectedly is already there no major bugs which we got so far in the camera ones but as I just mentioned at the starting of the video if you are finding any kind of bugs available here and there make sure to keep this thing in your mind that you are using a ported room so yes these might be there we have 40 megapixel etc etc things are there now here comes the tricky part safety net status which matters a lot unfortunately in my case safety net status has some issues and it's not passing for me by default of course you can pass the safety net status with the help of a magisk module very easily but if you want to use this room and if you don't want to root your device be ready for the banking apps not supported issue so yes keep this in your mind but still if you want to use it and if you have no issues while rooting etc install this you can install if you can root your device and pass safety status and use banking apps i have uh, or i have the tutorial videos available on my channel so make sure to check out those including that if you move on to the library section you also have the super wallpapers included these are not deblotted so if you need super wallpapers that's already included here same like that if you move on to the other options here things are kind of same pretty much same here and if i talk about the security status for example the screen lock fingerprint lock face unlock everything i've tried so far is just working flawlessly no issues here nothing to worry about privacy protection is from kind of global things not a china latest one also if you move the battery section you can see the temperature there it's not like cool and hot it's about the temperature so it's kind of old update maybe and here if you move on to the memory extension it's included use 1 gb of ram if you're user of 4 gb ram like me 4 gb ram user if you move on to the special features called a sidebar yes it's already included sidebar is there and if you want to use this new thing on advice you don't need to install any kind of system you plug in etc and at the starting of the video you already saw it also includes a new new control center so nothing to worry about that too if i move on to the gallery section and if i check out the features you can see recognize text feature is here i tried recognize text feature it was working some time ago but right now it is just taking a lot of time i, I mean just let's take a look at it it will give you some time it will take some time so yes if you want to use these features you can try it out on other picture i tried in two pictures it was a little bit working a little bit not working i'm not sure if it is from xiaomi side or anywhere else i'm not sure about that other than else as you can see the volume panel is is not the customized one it's the default one so yes these were some things which i just want to let you know about this latest miui mix edition for the miui tool device users if you want to install miui 13 on your device and if you want to install this build link is available in the description install from custom recovery and you're good to go if you're going to use all infox custom recovery it's up to you this is all from today's short and simple video thanks for watching and goodbye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the 
yeah.